We're gathered today, just as we have gathered before, to remember those who served, those who fought, and those who those still missing, and those who gave their last full measure of devotion for our country. One of those who fell wrote shortly before his death these words, take what they have left and what they have taught you with their dying and keep it with your own and take one moment to embrace those gentle heroes you left behind. We take that moment to embrace the gentle heroes of the Vietnam War. We remember those who were called upon to give all a person can give. And we remember those who were prepared to make that sacrifice if it were demanded of them in the line of duty, though it never was. Most of all, we remember the devotion and gallantry with which all of them ennobled their nation as they became champions of a noble cause. We remember today that all our gentle heroes of Vietnam have given us a lesson in something more, a lesson in living love. Yes, for all of them, those who came back and those who did not, their love for their families lives. Their love for their buddies on the battlefields and friends back home lives. Their love of their country lives. For too long a time, they stood in a chill wind as if on a winter night's watch. And in that night, their deeds spoke to us, but we knew them not. And their voices called to us, but we heard them not. Yet in this land that God has blessed, the dawn always at last follows the dark, and now morning has come. The night is over. We see these men and know them once again and know how much we owe them, how much they've given us, and how much we can never fully repay. And not just as individuals, but as a nation, we say, we love you. Vietnam's service is once more universally recognized as a badge of pride. And what can we say to our Vietnam veterans but welcome home?